Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am back with another amazing SQL question. Uh, this is really an interesting question. And in this question, we will see a good use of CT. I mean, if you have not worked on CT much, this question will give you a good idea why CTs are important and how we can make use of it. Okay, so let's start and understand the problem statement. So the problem is a company wants to hire new employees. The budget of the company for the salary is 70,000. So total budget of the company is $70,000. The company's criteria is the following for hiring. Okay. Keep hiring the seniors with the smallest salary until you cannot hire any more seniors. So this is my input table and this is the output. So what they are saying, the budget is 70,000 and we have to start hiring seniors first with the lowest salary, right? So, and then use the remaining budget to hire the junior with the smallest salary, right? So once seniors are done, then we have to start hiring juniors, right? Write as equal to find the seniors and junior higher under the mentioned criteria, right? So basically, if you see, we first start hiring senior. So we have $70,000 budget. So 16,000, we can hire this guy, employee ID for, right? Now we can hire this one also because 16,000 plus 20,000 is 36,000, which is less than 70,000. Now, if we hire this one, it will go over budget because it will be like, 86,000, 36,000 plus 50,000. So we cannot hire employee ID 6, right? Because it is over 70,000. So we have hired these two. And so you see these two in the output as well. Now we have a remaining budget of how much? 34,000, right? So we have 36,000 is gone. 34,000 budget is still there. So we will start hiring juniors. So again, junior from the smallest salary. So 10,000. I can do 10,000 plus 15,000. This guy also we can do 25,000, right? But this junior we cannot hire, right? This will go, whatever is the remaining budget, 34,000, it will go over it. So basically we can have four employees with the mentioned criteria. Now we have to write a SQL for this. Let's start. I will put in the description box, the create and insert statement to create this table. Before checking the solution, try it out yourself. Let me know if you have come up with a solution, then check my solution. If you feel your solution is better, do post it. I will check it out. Okay, so let's start. So this is our candidates table. Okay, so one thing we have understood is we have to find a running sum because that's how we understood the problem. 10,000 plus 15,000 we are checking, right? Here also we checked 16,000 plus 20,000. It is 36,000 less than 70,000. So this we know that we have to find a running sum, right? So let's find the running sum first. So I'll do select star comma sum of salary over. Now for junior and senior, I have to find separate running sum, right? There's no point uh, taking a running sum of all. So I will do partition by partition by experience, right? order by salary ascending, right? Because I have to first hire the lowest salary employees. So I'm doing order by salary ascending from candidates as running salary, right? Let's run this and see what we got. Okay, so if you see, we have got 10,000, then next is 15,000. So running sum is 25,000 and then 65,000, right? Similarly for senior, we have got 16,000 plus 20,000, 36,000. And then so we have got running sum separately for juniors and seniors, right? Now here, this is how I have found the running sum order by salary partition by experience. Now here, if the salaries are duplicates, right, there can be an issue. I will tag a video in the end where you can see that what could be the issue when the salaries are duplicate. So to avoid that issue, I will lose those between those between unbounded preceding and current row check out the video i will tag in the end so you understand why i am using it in this question it doesn't matter but we can have anything right in the data so it's better to handle the duplicate scenario as well okay so this is done we have the running sum okay let me move it little down so i will create this as a ct uh, with the total cell S 
okay so let's start with the seniors so first let's hire the seniors so i'll say select uh, from total cell right where experience equal to senior right we want to hire senior first so let's talk about seniors okay and running sum right we have running salary so we will say running salary should be less than or equal to our budget budget is 70000 so our running sum should not go beyond it right so if i say give me seniors and running sum should be less than 70000 so these two guys will come right let me run this and show you okay we have to select full okay so we got two seniors as we discussed 16000 and 20000 the third one we cannot afford now this is done for seniors so let me create a ct for this seniors as this so seniors are done now coming to junior so i'll just take this query again in this time i will say junior instead of senior right from the same table total salary right from the same table total salary i am saying give me junior but now the budget is not 70000 some of the budget has gone for seniors right so we have to subtract that budget so i'll say running salary should be less than or equal to 70000 minus whatever we spend for senior so select sum of salary from seniors okay so this much budget is gone So we are left with seventy thousand minus whatever budget is left, and now running sum for junior should be less than equal to that. Now, if I run that, we will get the juniors from here, right? We got the two juniors. So now what we have to do? These are the juniors, and these are the seniors. I can just say union these two. Union all. Select star from seniors. If I run this. we will get the output required output right we got the four rows now why i am saying the ct is important in this if you see the seniors this ct we used here as well and then here as well if we don't create ct we have to write this sub query again here and again here right two times with this ct we made the query very clear also right because we found running sum first then seniors then juniors and then in juniors we use senior ct and then select star from seniors right so this is a very good use of ct and very clean query do try out yourself and like the video if you really like the solution and subscribe to my channel if you have not thanks for watching the video have a good day bye bye